life short, smoke a port, on a port, on a port, in New York, calculating at the door, kill Bill, track suit, cream shorts, life short. What's up guys, Young Happening here, back with a video, and as you can tell by the title, we are doing How to Sound Like Lil Tecca. Um, if the fucking camera shakes, that's because I'm currently on a bed. I do not have a desk in here right now, but I need to work on getting that, man. I need my setup back. It's crazy. That's why the uploads haven't been coming in, but it's okay. We're still pumping out a video for you guys, even if it takes a couple of weeks to do so. I'm gonna try my best to keep getting, um, some more How to Sound Like out for you guys, but to be honest, there haven't been that many new artists, um out there for me so if you guys want me to repeat artists just let me know down in the comment section but yeah like i said we're doing little tecca so let's go ahead and hop into this tutorial but before we do that make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with notifications turned on so you know whenever i'm uploading to this channel and also show your support and hit that like button but like i said before let's hop into this tutorial vocals have more of that harmonizing effect so I did add a couple of different effects um, that I'll go over with you when it comes to the background vocals. But I just want to say this room um, isn't ideal for recording. There's a lot of acoustics, so it's very ambient and spacious. So the recording that I have here isn't going to be top quality. It's going to sound a little bit ambient, more ambient than it should. But the effects that I'm showing you guys right now are pretty much the way you should go. So let's go ahead and show you guys what's going on here. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside the ghost and hop up in a fan, oh I know I'm about to blow, oh, oh, I ain't gone They try to tip my floor, I take it for ransom So yeah, um, pretty, overall, pretty easy effect Lil Tech is not that complicated when it comes to his mixing, so, um I don't think this tutorial should take long Unless it takes me a minute to explain the background vocals a little bit more But this is, um, the main verse right here That we have channeled into the third um, mixing channel. So, um, auto tune. I used a lot of it um, because when I was listening to it, I couldn't really tell if it was just his vocal pronunciation and delivery, but his voice sounded like it was really auto tuned. I know for a fact there was some auto tune there, um, but in terms of effects that worked out for me, I went ahead and turned that retune speed all the way to zero, which is the fastest that it could go, and I um, masked over some of the robot T Pain sound like effects. Um, by turning that humanized knob up a little bit to 15 and I turned four min on um, now the key to this song specifically is G minor you can find out the key to any instrument you're trying to work with um, on the website audiokeychain.com you just upload it and it tells you the beats per minute and then also the key of the beat and that's how you find the key and the scale and for input type I'm an alto slash tenor um, Lil Tecca is as well so I went ahead and put that input type to alto slash tenor and that's pretty much it for the auto tune. Then you got the parametric EQ up next. Um, specifically, I didn't add any um, trouble because of the um, the room that I'm recording in. It just sounded too staticky. But normally, if I were you, if you were trying to mimic um, his rapping style, I would turn his. I would put this um, trouble, this summer seven knob up, a like around up here. Maybe give it some air as well. But for my circumstance right now, I'm going to leave it down. Um, I cut down the bass to about 112 hertz and did some frequency sweeps here um, to cut out the bad frequencies. And for you guys that don't know, um, you raise it all the way up here. You listen. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside the ghost and I'm on the I know I'm about to blow, whoa, whoa. I, I don't know if you guys could hear that specifically, but that sounds really muffled and bad. And when you hear that kind of sound, you're just going to want to drop it around that area. And that's pretty much how you frequency sweep the cut out bad um, frequencies. So um, that's it for that. Maximus, I specifically use Maximus only for a de -esser. For those of you guys that do not know, a de -esser gets rid of the, the hissing sounds um, to kind of make it sound more clean. I don't really use the Maximus for anything else. But to get that de -esser, you just go to presets here. I choose de -esser narrow band, and that's it for that. Fruity Compressor, Melodic Songs. For every Melodic Song, I'll go with the ratio 8 to 1. Um, I found that Medium um, slash R worked the best for the type. And then put that threshold about to negative 23.4 and added some gain. Because when you um, move the threshold knob to the left, it cuts out some of the gain um, from the vocals that you recorded. So you got to add a little bit more to make up for it. And then we got the Sound Goodizer. You always need to use the Sound Goodizer. 
um, even if it's a little bit just like I did it excites the vocals um, let me go ahead and turn off everything real quick so I can show you the difference so this is without the sound goodizer I got black I got white what you want and then you turn the sound goodizer on it it just excites it a little bit especially because I didn't put that much on it I got black, I got white, what you want? Pop outside a ghost and I'll pop in a fan. Right, you guys can hear a little bit more clear, a little bit more alive, which is what you want. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, you can play around with the different um, letters, the different presets. Um, but I found that A, A typically with these kinds of songs, is typically the best um, sounding letter way because of the sound goodizer. So I would recommend that one. And then last we got reverb, not too much, just the normal reverb here. And we lowered it a little bit just to um, make the vocals not sound dry over the mix. So yeah, that's basically the complete setup for his main um, vocal style. It's really not that hard. It's kind of simple. Now, when it comes to his background vocals, I'm not going to lie. I don't really listen to Lil Tecca. This is like the only song that I kind of heard from him. But if all of his songs are like that, I could tell he likes to use harmonizing sounding um, background vocals. So. His auto tune's a little bit different here, not as heavy. I put it to um, 13, humanized to 14. Pretty much the same thing. I just um, made the retooth speed a little bit higher, um, so it's not crazy auto tune. Parametric EQ. I went ahead and added some treble on there because um, I did hear a lot of treble in the background vocals. So, um, Maximus Deesser compressor. I went ahead and. Um, gave it that vintage type this time because it sounded a little bit more staticky. You know what I'm saying? Um, didn't his background vocals seemed like they weren't meant to sound as clear? So I went ahead and gave it a vintage type sound with the compressor. Everything else pretty much the same when it comes to that. Um, sound goodizer D was the best. Let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and mute mute this shit. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about here. What you want? No fan on. I ain't dumb. So as you guys can hear, it's a little bit, it's not really clear. It's meant to sound a little bit more ambient um, and more treble. Treble, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Treble orientated. So, yeah. So now we got the chorus to add more of a doubling effect. Because I noticed when I was listening to it. It sounds very, very stacked, and then the flangus to kind of mess with it to warp it a little bit more to have that harmonizing effect. And last but not least, a little bit more reverb. So that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and let you guys listen to the thing without the beat behind it so you can kind of have a better understanding of what sound you're exactly wanting to go for. I got black, I got white, what, what you, you want? want? Pop outside a ghost and I'll pop in no a fan off. I know I'm about to blow, whoa, whoa. I, I ain't, ain't dumb. dumb. They try to tip my floor, I tip their ass for ransom. So as you guys could hear there, the main vocals were clear, um, which is what you want. Um, and then every time the background vocals came, you had this harmonizing sound to go with it. So that's the exact sound that you're going for. And that's pretty much it for when it comes to Lil Tecca. It's really not that complicated. You just gotta play around with it a little bit. But let's go ahead and listen to the final product one more time. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and who you would like to see next. I got black, I got white, what you want? Pop outside a ghost and I'll pop in a fan on. I know I'm about to blow, whoa, whoa, I ain't dumb. They try to tip my floor, take the ass for ransom. Really, really good song. I definitely gotta check him out more. Um, The only reason I heard him was because um, Cole Bennett posted him on um, Lyrical Lemonade, and I love watching those music videos, so... I'm pretty sure he's got a lot more fire songs, so I gotta check him out for sure. But yeah, anyways, it's been your boy Young Happyton. Like I said before, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section and who you want to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow me on social media at Young Happyton. But yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in that next video. Peace out.